What's good fam? Welcome to another video, but if we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and most of the time I talk bass. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different and the reason I'm doing that is because I know um, some of you guys that watch this channel are not just bass players, you're also entrepreneurs, you're educators, you are pastors, you're, you're coming from all different areas and this, this whole COVID thing has forced us uh, to shelter in place, yes, but to also find new and creative ways to get our messages out. And so if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that right around the time the shelter in place started, I started going live. Now, I've got uh, three main channels that I wanted to go live to. That's Facebook, YouTube, which is my number one platform, and also to Twitch where I'm you know, trying to build an audience. So Restream was the perfect solution for that. And so in this video, I'm going to show you some of the finer points of Restream and show you how easy it is to use that to live stream to different platforms and also do uh, custom branding and also invite people to join your live streams. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, y'all. So I won't be with you too long. I just want to show you the back end, show you how to set things up. I do want to let you know you can use this in conjunction with uh, Slobs, OBS, or Ecamm Live. Um, but everything I'm going to show you right now is completely um, using the Restream Studio. So let's get into it real quick. I'm going to just walk you through the section. So in this back end, you would set up your channels. I, like I said before, I have three main channels. That's YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And so I've already got them set up, but let's say you wanted to add a channel, pretty self-explanatory. You would go and, and just add it here. I'm not going to do that now because I got those channels set up already. You just select the ones that you want to go live to. Update titles. All right, now peep this. I'm gonna update all, and that's gonna be the description for all of those platforms. You see it went, it just changed automatically. If you have a YouTube channel and you've got your custom descriptions already, you just copy paste that in there, boom. That's gonna be on all those platforms. So let's go over to the Restream Studio and see what that looks like. This is where, this is like your control center your your little studio where you're gonna uh, do all your you know cool graphics and all of that stuff all right so here's the live studio window and right now um, I don't have a camera set up so I'm gonna set that up I'm gonna show you all this just step by step so here's the main window the preview window where you're gonna see the stuff that's going on okay so right now I have a couple of different camera setups but it's not showing the one that is connected. So I'll go to the gear icon. I'm going to change the input to my mixer, which is the Yamaha AG03. And I'm going to change the camera to the FaceTime camera. Now you see, uh, now you can get a preview. You can close that window. All right. This is where you're going to turn your camera on, on and off. Mute yourself on and off. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, so let's get over into where you're gonna like really customize what your what your stream looks like. Also, this chat window over here, this is one of the things I love. When I first started live streaming, when we started the shelter in place, was I was streaming actually from my phone, and um, I had figured out a way to uh, go to a couple of different platforms. It was still just a little bit uh, wonky. But I couldn't see all of my uh, all of my chats in one in one spot. So if I was getting a chat on Facebook, couldn't see it. I had to switch back and forth between screens. So with Restream, you're going to see all your chats right here in one spot. Here, captions. If you have captions that you are using, you could uh, you can have them put into into this little text area, and it'll show on the screen graphics this is where it starts getting you know you put the polish on it the real professional look so right now I've got a, a, a restream uh, frame on here I'm gonna hide that 
and you just have the plain window. I've also got some frames that I've already uploaded here. So for instance, click on that, boom, there's a frame. You can make those in Photoshop if you if you have that skill, get somebody to make them for you, or you can you know pick them up from a place like Tuber Tools. So there's the frame. You just click hide and show. You can do all of this while you're in the chat. Something they just added, you can do video. Now I'm going to actually turn my camera off and watch what happens. I'm going to turn the frame off as well. This video that's already set up, I click on that and all of a sudden I have now a countdown window logo logo still showing up there you could put you can make your own countdown and set that up and start that put that in the window uh, when your camera is off let's hide that now this is a background one of the backgrounds i have set up um you can use different backgrounds thanks for watching if you run into problems something like this tech tech issues you don't have to use these backgrounds. These are just ones I got from Tuber Tools. So once your camera is off, right, they'll show. Um, if your camera is on, you won't get the background screens. All right. So that's the, man, super, super easy, simple. Again, get your message out to all platforms. Now, let's get into one of the newer features of uh restream and that is inviting guests so yeah guys i'm just going to voice over this part of the video only because when i was testing the guest feature of restream i actually went live it turned into be uh, it turned out to be a cool conversation between steven schwartz and uh, my boy nate cameron so um the guest feature is fairly new i think you can invite up to 30 guests um but it's really dope so if you're looking for a platform where you can stream to multiple platforms at one time and get all your chats aggregated into the same screen, I definitely highly recommend, definitely highly <laughs> recommend Restream.io. Thanks again for letting me do something a little bit outside of the normal base content. So yeah, man, check it out. If you are interested in more base tutorials, Click that playlist over there. You can get the video that YouTube thinks you'll dig down there. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a groove. I'll catch y'all on the flip. Peace. Two fingers.